Hello and welcome. A very good evening to all the candidates, students, and uh, especially the subscribers. Thank you very much for the 150 subscribers that I've just completed uh, recently. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, I would like to start off today by saying that I am a trainer who specializes into different areas like uh, OET, airlines, and I also do some entertainment as well. So if the video is for you, you can go ahead or you can surely skip these videos. Today's video is going to be for the OET candidates. So let's begin. Uh, today's video is go I'm going to be covering the reading section part B. Uh, remember last time in the last video I had covered the part C and this time is going to be the part B. So part B will include six questions or again multiple choice. Uh, this will commence right after the part A. After part A which will include 20 questions the duration will be 15 minutes. They will take away your part A and then they'll give you a part B. So part B and part C combined is 45 minutes. So uh, initial questions will be the part B which is six questions each and you'll be given one uh, will be given three options for each question. They will be single text this time in part B. It will not be a combination of a long text, right? Like the way you had in part C. So uh, with that in mind, let's proceed. Let's see what we have in the part B today. Uh, let's take the question number B today. Uh, let's take the question number one. This guideline uh, it says that the nurse in charge part a must a must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard part b should make sure that all ward cupboards keys are kept together option c can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another ward now first as i said first is about supervising supervising the opening right second is going to be making sure that the, all the keys are kept together so first is supervising second is keys kept together third is delegating responsibilities right out of these let's see what we have let's read the text now medicine covered keys the, this is the text the keys for the controlled key, uh, drug cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge they may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge so when it says they may be passed to registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. I have an indication that it's about the supervising of the opening of the controlled drug uh, drug cupboard because when she has a, it says that she she that she may pass it to the registered nurse. It's more about the responsibility, right? Supervisory. So that's why my prediction is going to be part A, uh, the option A. Let's read further. If the keys for the controlled drug cupboard go missing, the locks must be changed and pharmacy informed and an incident report form completed. The controlled drug cupboard keys should be kept separately from the main body of keys. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, the keys should not leave the ward or department. If necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there so here uh, so there you can see even the last sentence if necessary nurse in charge should arrange the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge well this sentence is giving me an indication that c should be the answer because it says can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another word. So here the another word is coming in where which I can see in the last sentence. It says if necessary the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge. So here neighboring ward gives us an indication that it's it is the cupboard keys to another ward, right? And then if necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange. Should, should arrange means delegating responsibility. So you see, initially I was going for option A, but now on reading further, I see that the C is the right answer. So this is how you, uh, you know, 
that's why it's important to read the full text uh, I hope it's clear let's move to the next question <clears throat> question number two when seeking consent for a post-mortem examination it is necessary option a give a valid reason for conducting it option b allow all relatives the opportunity to decline it so remember the word all c only raise the subject after the death has occurred so first a is about valid reason b is about allowing all relatives opportunity okay second is about but what declining third is about raising the subject after the death has occurred so third is about raising the subject so first is about valid reason second is about declining third is about uh, raising the subject so these three things let's keep in mind and let's proceed to the text here comes the text post-mortem consent a senior member of the clinical team preferably the consultant in charge of the care should raise the possibility of a post-mortem examination with the most appropriate person to give consent so consent has been mentioned here but it doesn't say anything about uh, yeah give a valid reason for conducting it right the person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the post-mortem explanation explain what it hopes to what it hopes to achieve so here giving a valid reason guys you can see the words here will need an explanation of the reasons for the post-mortem so there you can see valid reason for conducting it which goes to option number a so i think that's the answer let's read further the first approach should be made as soon as it is apparent that a post-mortem examination may be desirable as there is no need to wait until the patient has died many writers are more prepared for the consenting procedure if they have had time to think about it beforehand i don't see uh, any chances of option number B, which is saying what allowing all relatives, I don't see the mention of that. It's yeah, it just says that the relative relatives are more prepared, but it does not give any option of declining the the uh, post mortem. Third, only raise the subject after the death has occurred. There is no mention of raising the subject, especially after the the death has occurred. So now I hope it's clear. The, so the answer is option number A. Now let's go for the next question. Question number three. The purpose of these notes about an incident narrator is to a maximize uh, help maximize its efficiency. So first is maximizing the efficiency. Second, give guidance on certain safety procedures. Second is about safety procedures. C recommend the procedure for waste separation. Third is about procedure right so first is maximizing efficiency second we're, second option will keep safety procedures third is about procedure waste separation right let's read the text now the topic is low cost incinerator generating operating notes 3.211 hospital weight waste management materials with high fuel values such as plastics paper card and dry textile will help maintain high incineration temperature so there is a combination of these uh, you know uh, raw materials which will help maintain high incineration temperature so the temperature a combination of these will keep the temperature high right if possible a good mix of waste materials should be added with each batch so if there's a possibility a good mixture so the the, the mixture is good the, it's 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 supposed to be more efficient right this can be achieved by having the various types of waste material loaded into separate bags at source that is wards and laboratories and clearly labeled it is not recommended that the operator sorts and mixes waste prior to incineration as this this potential hazardous now here the mention if safety is there the, when it says potentially hazardous but it is not a guidance to the safety procedure Second, if possible, uh, some plastic material should be added with each batch of waste as this burns at high temperatures. However, so if possible, some plastic materials sh should be added, if possible, right? Uh, however, however is again a connector, uh, which is a contrasting word. 
care and judgment will be needed as too much plastic will create so uh, so it says however care and judgment will be needed as too much plastic will create dense dark smoke so care will be needed is stands for the safety right but now if you look at the question in the, just to begin with it says the purpose of these notes about an incinerator is to so it's talk about the purpose the overall the, the, so just look at the bigger picture why were these notes mentioned in the first place so first it says helps maximize its efficiency efficiency is something like for example there's one car which uh, at uh, you know for one liter of fuel which goes for 60 kilometers right car a and then there's car b which goes for one liter which goes for ahead for 80 kilometers so now the car which will be going for a longer time which can run a longer time will be considered to be more efficient right so which means less cost and more output so what i see here is that when the uh, heading of the text is a low cost incinerator so the it's about everything is about the efficiency that right? the low cost so that is what is uh, our indication so which means the word efficiency is what's going to be in my mind which is part which is option a it does mention about the safety but that is not the purpose of the notes the safety uh, factor is mentioned but that is remember the question is again as i said in the last video it is very important to understand that we have the question right because that's the the starting point right if that was not clear in our mind we might have a, have you know attempted for something like b which is give guidance on certain safety procedure because it is it is giving guidance but then that is not the purpose the purpose it's a low cost incinerator so it's for efficiency secondly uh, if possible a good waste material should be added with each batch right so uh, also about high temperature High fuel values such as plastics, paper, card, and diet textile will help maximum help maintain high incineration temperature. Right, so it is it is the whole whole purpose of it is to maintain a high temperature by giving a good mix of the raw, raw materials, which will result in a in a in, in an efficiency. Why? Because this is a low cost incinerator. It might be a little bit com complex. Uh, if you want, you can just go back and re-listen re -re to the video and even pause and look at the text and it will be clear. If you have any questions or if you have any doubts with this question, please leave in the comments so I can address them separately. So now let's come to the uh, question number four. It's going to be the last question I'm going to take for this video. Uh, what does the manual tell us about spacer devices? So the question is, what does the manual tell us, right? Option A, patients should try out a number of devices with their inhaler. So first is about trying number of devices. B, they enable the patient to receive more of the prescribed medicine. So second is receiving more medicine. Third, children should be given spacers which are smaller than those of four adults. So C is about smaller spacers for children. So first is about number of devices. Second is about uh receiving more medicine third is about children getting spacers right smaller spacers let's read the text now manual extract spacer devices for asthma patients that's the heading spacer devices remove the need for coordination between actuation of a pressurized meter dose inhaler and inhalation okay in addition, the device allows more time for evaporation of the propellant so that a larger portion of the particles can be inhaled and deposited in the lungs. Here I have an indication that this might be the answer because it says larger portion of the particles can be inhaled. Larger portion means more medication, right? More medications uh, so that it can help the patient receive more medication which I see is in option number B. Enable patient to receive more of the prescribed medication. So I will keep that as the answer. Let's move forward and see if there is any other change. Spacer devices are particularly useful for patients with poor inhalation technique. 
okay for children for patients requiring higher doses for nocturnal asthma and for patients prone to candidiasis with inhaled corticosteroids so it mentions about uh, children space device but it doesn't say anything that the spacers should be smaller right which is option number c it doesn't say about that the size of the space is important here the size is going to be is mentioned the sp large spacers with a one way valve being more effective okay it says large uh, large spacers are more effective but doesn't say that children have smaller spacers it is important to prescribe a spacer device that is compatible with the meter dose inhaler okay spacer devices should not be regarded as interchangeable patients should be advised not to switch between spacer devices so the last option uh, so the last sentence patient should be advised not to switch between spacer devices so first option a is ruled out anyway because it says patient should try out a number of devices last sentence rules it out anyway option number c i don't see it fitting in anywhere it does mention that the size of the spacer but doesn't specify that the children's has to be or should be given smaller spacers i come back to the my earlier prediction which is answer b they enable patient to receive more of the prescribed medicine why because uh, if you see the last uh, the line number 3 so that a large portion of the particles can be inhaled and deposited in the lungs so there is your answer it's answer b i hope that uh, the part b explanation is also crystal clear the way it was in the last uh, video uh, thank you for the good response i uh, hope that you are all understanding this detailed explanation i i'm picking up each question you know i'm uh, trying to go into the details of the keywords make sure that for every option you have one or two words in your mind planted and uh, i would like to advise you that reading exam is more about uh, short term you know carrying this that short term memory like you have in a computer ram you have to look at the options quick right one and a half for two minutes maximum to be given to each question after that you need to carry that as i told with those keywords with you those three keywords carry it till the time you reach your text and you give the answer then you drop that drop those words then you carry the next three words for the next question so it's going to be a carry drop carry drop carry drop that kind of a procedure will be happening throughout the reading text right so if try to practice it try to practice uh, you know picking up those words from each option and carrying those words till the time you get the answer then dropping them right uh first in the first few days concentrate on the accuracy accuracy is the first thing that you need to concentrate on then you go for the timer of course timer is important right because it's a one hour test and you have to answer 42 questions and then there's no negative marking which is a good part for now focus on your accuracy if you have any questions leave in the comments so that i know if you're getting uh, the detailed explanation or not if you need specialized uh, you know attention of course classes are being offered the contact number is mentioned already right uh so use this time to focus on your goals right and uh, any feedback which you have or any improvement or ideas leave in the comment section let me know so that i can improve it so that i can deliver a better product for you thank you very much stay safe and do your best thank you